Well, I mean, there's this age-old debate. Is mathematics discovered or is it invented? Mm. So which is it? So I want to hear I, Jim's answer. So <laughs> remember, well, first of all, thank you for the uh, accolade of calling me a mathematician. I have many mathematician friends who would mm -hmm. be insulted by that. <laughs> <laughs> I am a theoretical physicist, not a mathematician. <laughs> And they make sure I keep that in mind <laughs> almost every day. Um, I, so, uh, you know, physicists believe in quantum mechanics. So you ask me for one answer, so I'm going to give you two. Uh, it, when you are in the struggle to solve a mathematical problem of some significance, it feels like you build it piece after piece after piece. So it feels like you are making it up. But after you have the answer, it feels like it was always there waiting for you to find it. So that's my answer. It's both to me. I've experienced both. Well, I think I've been obsessed with this question for as long as I've been conscious, or since as long as I've been conscious of mathematics. And, you know, Leopold Kronecker, the 19th century mathematician, said, Ma um, God made the integers, the rest is the work of man. Um, but there's a contemporary mathematician and philosopher of math mathematics, Brian Rotman, who's written this wonderful book called Ad Infinitum, Taking God Out of Mathematics and Putting the Body Back In. Um, it's a book about the same, it's trying to come at a non-Platonist account of mathematics. So try to come to an account of mathematics where we don't see it as something above and beyond the material world. And I'm completely convinced by Brian's argument. And what he says is he said even the integers are the work of man. And he, he claims, and I actually, I fall on this side, that I think mathematics is as it were made up. That doesn't mean that it's not true in some sense, but I don't think there's a sense in which mathematics has an existence above and beyond conscious beings who can, as it were, think it.